Have you ever heard of the Hamar tribe in Ethiopia? Likely not. But, did you know that some of their women actually enjoy being whipped by their men as a sign of love? Yes, you heard that right. This may sound barbaric, but for the Hamar tribe, it is a rite of passage and a symbol of love. The women often encourage their men to whip them and wear the scars as a badge of honor. Believe it or not, studies have shown that the Hamar women who participate in Ukuli Beulah have lower levels of anxiety and depression compared to those who do not. This is because the practice strengthens the bond between a man and a woman, leading to a healthier relationship. But, for the Hamar tribe, it's a cherished tradition passed down for generations. The Dance of Dedication In certain Ethiopian tribes, the ceremony known as Hamar Bull Jumping showcases an ancient tradition where young men prove their readiness for marriage. However, it's the women who often bear the brunt of this display of dedication. Bound by tribal customs, they willingly participate in this dance of dedication, enduring lashings from the men to demonstrate their loyalty and love. While it may seem puzzling to some, it serves as a testament to the strength and resilience of these women. Research shows that this ritual is deeply rooted in cultural beliefs and is seen as a rite of passage for both men and women in the Hamar tribe, symbolizing their commitment to their community and tradition. Physical Endurance in the Spotlight The Hamar bull jumping ceremony isn't for the faint of heart. The women are tied to wooden poles while the men, armed with long whips, proceed to strike their backs. The women's stoic endurance and ability to withstand the pain is highly regarded within their society. It's a test of physical resilience, reinforcing the notion that enduring pain for the sake of tradition and loyalty is admirable. Anthropologists suggest that this ritual is deeply connected to the tribe's cultural identity and serves as a visual representation of strength and endurance within their community. The Whips of Authority You might be wondering why the men resort to using whips during this ceremony. Well, the whips are not just random tools of punishment. They are considered symbols of authority and power within the tribe. The men who perform the lashings are often respected elders or influential figures, and their role in the ceremony reflects their position of leadership. According to research, the use of whips in this ritual is believed to demonstrate the men's control over their wives, emphasizing the traditional gender dynamics prevalent in the Hamar tribe. A mark of beauty, oddly enough, in the Hamar tribe, the visible scars left behind by these lashings are considered a mark of beauty. Women proudly display these scars as badges of honor, showcasing their commitment and devotion to their husbands and community. Researchers suggest that these scars are seen as a physical testament to a woman's strength and endurance, making her more desirable and respected within the tribe. The Power of Choice While it may seem like the women are coerced into participating in this ritual, it's important to note that they have the power to decide whether or not to endure the lashings. While societal pressures and cultural norms influence their decision, it ultimately remains a choice they make. The women who willingly participate do so to affirm their commitment to their partners and cultural heritage. Anthropological studies highlight the significance of agency within this ritual, acknowledging that the women's active participation stems from their own choices and beliefs. An evolving tradition, in recent years, as Ethiopia's society undergoes rapid changes and modernization, traditional rituals like the Hamar bull jumping ceremony have faced increasing scrutiny. Many argue that these practices perpetuate gender inequalities and undermine the rights of women. To address these concerns, there have been ongoing discussions within Ethiopia about modifying certain aspects. Now, before you start thinking about trying this at home, let me clarify, this is not for everyone. It's a cultural practice that has been passed down and has its roots in their beliefs. So, if your partner starts whipping you, they are not a Hamar tribesman, but likely a criminal.
Well, there you have it. The surprising truth about the Hamar tribe women. Maybe getting whipped isn't so bad after all. Just kidding. Enjoy the rest of the video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. For more mind-blowing content like this.